Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Reesey News. And first up we have today is something new from LEGO Super Mario. So this is actually really interesting. Like, it, it's completely random and everything, and it's a it has to do with, like, LEGO Super Mario and everything. So, a couple days ago, LEGO made an announcement showing a question block, showing that something will be coming soon. And then early this morning, both Nintendo and LEGO announced that they're going to have a Super Mario 64 LEGO set. And basically, this one is pretty interesting because it's actually four different Mario 64 levels. The Peach's Cra Castle Grounds, bob Battlefield, Lethal Lava Land, and Cole Cole Mountain. So basically, it's kind of like an all-in-one set, and they're kind of on the micro scale. Kind of like the Minecraft Micro World sets from a few years ago. And they look really good. My only complaint with this is that the question mark block isn't actually in Super Mario 64. They actually have the exclamation block in that game, which is different and everything. And the only reason I think they're doing the um, question block is they're going to have like other games using that same block, like Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, Mario Odyssey, games like that they could possibly do. Um, so that's probably why they're just doing, like, a question block for that. But the courses themselves, that you build the little miniature courses, look really cool. And there's a lot of custom, um, printed things, and I think it looks really good. And even though it's really simplistic, I still think it looks really good, and I really like Mario 64. So I do like how it's kind of arranged and everything. And I do like how Lethal Lava, Lethal Lava Land is kind of inside the question block, kind of under the castle, because that's where it's actually located in the game. So that's kind of a neat touch, and there's just, like, it even has the paintings, and, like, all sorts of different things, and even King bob which is really cool. I really like this, and basically it's going to be releasing for $169.99, $170, on October 1st, which isn't too bad. Um, I mean, I know that's a little expensive, but that's it's Lego, and it's kind of expected for a set to be that much. I don't think it's as much as the NES set, though. So it's going to be 2,064 pieces. That's pretty clever that they have it at that exact piece count, which is pretty decent um, for, like, Legos and everything with piece counts. Um, but yeah, overall... This is a really good set, and I'm just really looking forward to it. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to get it. Like, I might get it sometime. I feel like I'm more likely to get this than um, the NES, because I have more of a nostalgic connection with Mario 64, because of 64 DS. But um, I really like this, and I just really like the miniature worlds on it. I think it looks really nice. Um, I really wish we would get an actual minifigure scale set, but this still looks really good, and I, I'm not going to complain with this one, because I, I do really like how it looks, because I um I got a couple of the Minecraft Micro World sets, I think that's what it's called, like the tiny micro-scale Minecraft Lego sets, I got those a few years ago, and I really like them, that was before they did the minifigures, so maybe they'll eventually do minifigures for Mario, but... Overall, this is really cool, I really like it. So, let's move on to the next thing here. So basically, the Nintendo Switch OLED is coming out in October on the same day as Metroid Dread, and it's been reported that the regular Nintendo Switch, which is $300 right now, will actually get a price cut, the $250. So, that's actually really good, and actually a really big deal, because Nintendo actually hasn't done a price drop on the Switch at all. So, this is basically reported by um, this French Twitter account called Nintendo Alerts, and basically they're saying that the Nintendo Switch there is going to go from um, 329 to 270 euro, which is basically 300 to 250. So that's really interesting, and Nintendo could definitely benefit from that, and it definitely makes sense since they're releasing the OLED, because, um, I feel like it's still kind of weird, because 350 for the OLED, I mean, it's alright. Like, that's not the ideal price for it. I mean, it really should have been, like, 300 or, like, 325 but, um, I guess 350 is still tolerable. It's still alright, but I'm glad they are 
doing a price drop on the Switch, that is really good, and that is definitely going to help the sales for the Nintendo Switch. I feel like there's probably going to be a sales boost, especially because of all of the games coming out, like WarioWare, Metroid, Mario Party, Pokemon. So I could see the Nintendo Switch doing a lot better with sales, even though it's already doing really well right now. But anyways, that's all I have today for the Nintendo news. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.